Hi there. Did you miss me? I just wanted to share another challenge that was given to me and it basically pertained to food. So the upload will be coming out soon and I just wanted to um, just bring you up to date with what's going on with me. So during my bout with Covina, that really wasn't about. I just realized that I had lost a little toning in my muscles and my legs. So I just felt it was necessary for me to get back into the gym. And this is me trying to stretch and get myself together because I haven't really done anything physical for the last two weeks being away and then just trying to heal and be still and I'm um, just coming back to my work and this is the actual fitness center that is located in the same building as my work and this is me trying to figure out what the heck size weights these are because they absolutely cannot be lifted by these legs so I'm going from side to side, of course, to figure out uh, the size, the pounds that I'm going to be able to <laughs> lift because it's not something that I do on a daily basis. And I just needed to understand what in the world it was that I was doing. So I had to get the proper size weights that I felt I could start out with because this is an exercise that I've never done before. But I heard it's very, very, very <laughs> active for the muscles especially the ones that I'm trying to trigger so I don't know if any of you have ever seen this before this is an exercise that should trigger specifically quads a bit of the glutes and some of the hamstrings my main focus is always as you can see I have ankle weights on as well I always work on lower body and the glutes are always my focus quads are now a current focus of mine and hamstring um, has also always been a focus because I'm slim but I like to have shape to my legs and I'm just going to fast forward through this part right here This one here is for the outer buttocks muscle, the outer glutes, um, especially those like me that have the hip dip that really don't have the hips going outward. Um, so uh, you can either put the machine on the outward to press outward, or you can put the machine on the inside like I have here to press the, to activate the muscles on the inner thigh. This, of course, here is another glute exercise, and the reason why you use the bands is because it helps um, your, your thigh muscles, your quads, and it'll also help my hamstrings activate. So, um, whatever works. And this is, of course, we all know what this is. This is those uh, fire hydrants. Um, <laughs> Yeah, other people say other things, but yeah, it's hilarious, but I'm going to keep it clean, and I'm going to say those are the fire hydrant um, kicks. That's also to activate the the glutes, and uh, with the bands on, it's so tight, but I'm still trying to activate my hamstrings as well. Now, the reason why you'll see me do this like little stretch thing when I sit and go back is to kind of take the tension out of the thigh muscle because that hurts quicker on me than anything. My glutes don't really bother me as much as that that lower glute upper thigh muscle that really bothers me. But in order to see any type of results, this is exactly what I have to do because for me, um, my muscles have memory but I still have to activate them to see any type of results. 
So it's a Friday night. We usually go out, but I got off work early because of the holiday. And I just wanted to surprise Howard to um, bring something yummy home because he loves uh, seafood. So I had two crab cakes, salmon and shrimp over a salad from our local restaurant in his neighborhood. And yeah, he absolutely loved it. So um, we both had the same exact thing. So I, he gave me his other piece of salmon and I gave him two crab cakes and my shrimp because I do not do shrimp. So yeah, I'll show you at the end of this what it looks like. Okay, who else is obsessed with these? I cannot be the only one obsessed with this cookie. Just look at them. I love them. So here's the final look with the seafood dressed all over the salad. Yeah, it's a really, really good combo. And um, it's very, very filling. And here's the picture. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. To evolve is to live.